Hello, ladies and gents, guys and girls, friendly femmes and fellows, all. You joined me hot on the heels of the last episode where I decided to record just a little bit more to see what happens. Dolgul. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Dolgul Dua has been besieged. I'm not sure by whom, but it could be Lothlorien. It could be. Yeah, because they hold the Bells of Mirkwood, but it could also be the Veilsmen. It'll be interesting to see if they succeed, whoever it is. Dunland is a quiet place at this point, but we are building up our infrastructure there. Meidelberg has just finished uh, a construction guild house, but it looks like that will have to aid our enemy. Unless we can deter them. Aye. Just send a lot of troops over and hope they get scared, I suppose? Onward. Yeah, that's as good a plan as any, I guess. I'm gonna keep these guys. Uh, let's send them over there to that fort. I'll have some troops here. I'm gonna stick you. Now, the question is do we have enough to take out Captain Zagbuck? I think we actually do, if we play this right, because we have archers and we have um, surprisingly solid archers we learned last time. <laughs> um, Broin and Fennel, his acumen is growing and he is more cultured, hiring musicians and artists and it's nice to see. And what over here? We are encroaching upon Dane's Halls. Time will tell if any of our allies will come to our aid. But it looks like that they are concerning themselves with Krukthak and his retinue. Which they are wise to do, I suppose. Okay, the feast hall is almost done and the Hall of Durin can then commence construction. Uh, let's put these fellows over there. Catapult. Put it in town. Have some more troops. We'll just keep them funneling through Ariadol. What the? Okay. You know, this uh, this makes me very happy that I've got these guys queued up. And um, Glein, you're going to return to Anon and the Lord. And. We will need some troops here in Kazadum West. Uh, what have they got? I suppose it's a horde army. I'm gonna stick you. They have gone horde, and they have a bit of cavalry, and they have trolls, and they have heavy infantry. They basically have a whole mix of their roster. But our forces in Byrig are quite far away. We get there in three turns. I suppose it's better than doing bugger all with them, so let's send them over. And let's take some low level troops to Fill up our roster, just uh, like that, like that. We can take some of these guys and send them over too. Maybe some Dawn Laborers because they're a cheap way of tying up those trolls. Okay, 
Well then. Here then comes the question. How many of these reinforcements will I we can't. receive? I don't think we'll be seeing these guys, but... Oh! Accidentally saved the game. Let's see. Oh... Yes, we get... Captain Orn. And... Captain Bumber. So no, Thrarin is left out. But still, that means we get some catapults. And we... And some archers, and we get some infantry. So I think we're going to be okay. Let's save it. Case in point, attack. Glory, attack. Now, if the AI does what it is often doing in these sally out circumstances. We will be able to gather our troops and provoke their our response and thus the upper hand in this battle. dictate the flow and the pace of the battle. So, here's what we're going to do. We've got some archers, they're going to go over there. We've got some archers, they're going to go over there. We've got some more archers, they're going to go over there. We've got some catapults, they're going to go over there. And we got some laborers. They will be forming a line. Like that. And then our general will go over there. And everyone has got direction. Nope, no, 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 not you. Um, gonna go over there. Stand strong, my bearded friends! Oh dear, no! <laughs> oh, let's see if we can work this because we need to go around them now. I don't want to. No! 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 Go away! I missed that tiny detail that some of our troops were coming from over there. Of course, that means that we can get those guys over there reasonably well. Um, man, they just walked right past our catapult. They don't know how big an opportunity they have just passed up. That is incredible. <laughs> Will we just be able to... They have some black shield archers and scouts. Just What are you doing? Reloading. Firing upon our travelers. Is that what you're doing? Yes, that is indeed what you're doing. So we're just going to spread out. And you're going to continue running towards these walls. And, ah, oh, they're firing on our catapults as well. Uh, please stop firing at our catapults. I don't want you to do that. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. It's very understanding of you. This AI is weirdly cooperative. Um, okay. Now. Let's see if we can give them some fireworks to write home about. These fellows are going to be running. Because you're going to be needed very soon. Oh, our dwarves are exhausted. You don't see that very often. Okay, that's decent. And another. Nope. That didn't do it. Now let's see what they do. They are moving forward, though. We have provoked them. Are they running? They are running! Running uphill. Their entire army. Okay. I'm gonna go over to Grape Shot now, I think. 
The warband might be coming for our catapults, but we shall have to wait and see to find out. Okay. Yes. You are in position. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, good. So we're manning the towers, we've got archers in the walls that they cannot touch, so unless they choose to besiege us actively, let's see if we can get our catapult over there behind our line, actually, that's probably a good idea. Okay. Our archers are exhausted, but they are on walls. They are in relative safety. They are in a place where they can do their jobs pretty effectively, despite being tired. Ah, they're coming for our catapults. Oh, damn it. Oh, beans. It's not meant to happen, but okay. Should probably just have taken pot shots, one of one or two pot shots at them. Uh, the volunteers are doing really good actually. Very pleased with that. The laborers though are having a tough time with spears. So let's try and have um, our general assist them. But defeat seems almost certain. Okay, Mountain Orc Hunters, they need to die by the arrow. Die by the bow, they will. They will fall, or they will flee. Those are their options on this day. The Snow Orc Scouts are firing somewhat impotently at the lines that have met, so they're as likely to hit their own as ours. And I think the stats do reflect that. Where's the general? Is that this fellow here? Yes, that would seem to be their general. And they are just gonna stand there and be shot. But the raiders doing a number on our Kassad volunteers. The Seneth Guard is keeping up well though. Okay, we might want to take these archers over here. Because they can get a better angle. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Snork spears, they're not doing so well. Try to fire on those raiders. Now it's all about the angle with these lads. If they have a good angle, they can apparently do very well. But defeat seems almost certain. Let's aim them at the mountain old hunters. I think that's the angle that the best that works well for them right now. So. Let's see how the arrows fall. Uh, okay, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. But it's better than nothing. Okay. We might. Maybe we should... Bring out our travelers. Their archers will surely soon have no more arrows left to fire. It seems that the scouts have already been committed. 
And now the Black Shalatus have run out of arrows, it seems. That's good news. Ours have not run out of arrows, not in the slightest, but they are nevertheless moving outside because they have some orcs to shoot. They're going to place themselves right here along. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such along the wall. Does victory the General is doing a marvelous job of curtailing the plans of these snow orcs. Our army is tiring. Where is our general? If you double click on the general, you'll usually go. We'll usually center the camera on him, and there he is. He's in relative safety, so I am happy with that. Let's try to get these dwarven labels slightly more into the midst of the enemy, just to cover him even further. And let's bring these dwarves to the fore, so that they can shoot our enemy with impunity. Okay, since we have routed them, the Black Shield Archers do remain. The Mountain Hawk Hunters are just standing there. It's a perfect opportunity to do shoot them with our archers, so we're going to do just that. We're going to shoot them at point blank. And I think it's going to be marvelous. Now they're coming at us, but we're going to shoot them regardless. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, it could have gone better, but it was an okay. An okay effort. Fine effort. I respect the effort. How about that? Seneth Guard still pulling their weight against these archers. I mean, they really should. They have glassed them pretty heavily. 11 attack, 16 damage. Ours, 12 damage, so not much better there. But if we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. More than twice the defense rating. And uh, twice the defense rating means that they do well. And now it seems that they are retreating. Is that what I'm supposed to take from this? Nope, they're not retreating. They're just coming around to hit us once again. Okay, all archers on those. I don't want to engage them with my general until I'm certain that <laughs> they're not going to do serious damage. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. There we go, and down they go. Down, down, down they go. Um, walk over there, please. I hope we're gonna heal some of the catapults. They, they, they served their function. They provoked the enemy. That was the main thing they had to do and they did so so that's good but um I'd be sad if that's the last we see of that battalion and here they come and the mountain orc hunters flee cut the caverns down Excellent. Our troops cheer. This is a clear victory. Seneth Guard, 156, proving that they are still a formidable force to be faced with. So, it's basically uh, the first battle of this episode, and it might be the last because. I am trying to keep them short, but we will see what happens. We'll see if we can uh, manage to besiege the Dane's Halls in this episode. 
If we can, that would be grand. Always nice pouring up a cup of tea with some thunderous music in the background, heralding another victory. Or celebrating another victory, I should say. It's a nice feeling. And I want you to have that too. Let's see, let's execute them. They are for all stuff. All Meiselberg is secured. We have managed to keep safe both of those settlements, which I'm very pleased with. Let's see, Meiselberg, what can you give me? Um, you know what? Let's get a practice range and retrain those archers. They deserve it. I lord. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Hi. But did he get what a berserk? What was that? Yes, a berserk. A berserk is a fierce and strong warrior among the dwarves. On the battlefield, he is taken by a frenzy which he cannot stop unless he kills as many foes as he can. However, he will remain loyal to his master, whatever the circumstances. Oh, so it's a buffed version of the um, oh, aggressive trait, the... I forget what it's called, but from the base game there is a trait that you get if you become very aggressive with your general. That'll do him today, sir. With a viking looking dude on the icon. I remember it well, but I don't remember the name. Was it also something along the lines of Berserker? I don't know. Notorious Aggressor or something like that. Notorious Berserker, I think, maybe? Mm. <laughs> oh, whatever the case, whatever the case. It's a nice perk to have, especially if you're playing aggressively. Of course, that general is right now sitting in a town, so he'll mostly be defen on defensive duty, where he is slightly disadvantaged by that. At least it's loyal, but then again, loyalty in this mod is really not as important as in the base game, so... Yeah. Yeah, he, he's going to want to go on the offensive, if he can. Yeah. But I suppose we will be able to send him up... ...to the front lines. Maybe he can lay siege to Yolstone. We are sending a lot of forces up to Goblin Town at the moment, so yeah. I guess uh, I guess that's what we're gonna do. I bring word from my people. Oh do you, Merlock? Or should you perhaps say you bring word from Saruman? Because that is more the case, I think. Oh, there are now so many academies named after this man. He has hired doppelgangers to attend the opening ceremonies. Well, um, however, I'm not going to just now. Uh, let's just trade. Your plan seems balanced enough to me. Thank you. Very well. Okay, Another how are you doing? I want to know to where share. you're at, so... You must think us meek or foolish to suggest this. Blah, I'm gonna haggle you for that one. <laughs> Don't you worry. No, we will not Aww. accept such a thing. Okay, time. we'll trade then. That's... It's fine, it's fine. I wonder, are we seeing a resurgence in Lothlorien, maybe? Nah, not really. They're still at the very same point. And the Woodland Realm is falling. How are they? Is that because of Dol Guldur? I suppose it must be, but no, they're still losing settlements. Who are they losing settlements to? The Snorks? I thought I was keeping them at bay, but um, who else? Rune? They're dealing with Dale and Dorwinion, though. Uh, how about the Anduin Vale? They are having a bit of a resurgence, though. 
Interesting. So it is the Anduin Vale that capitalizes on what we do, and the goblins of Moria are just going north. Are they heading for Imladris? To Rivendell? The House of Elrond? My king. I mean, I wouldn't mind. That's... I, I mean, lord. yeah. I, they can go one. right ahead. We march no further today, my king. Yes, we have quite an army. Aye, Lord. Aye, yeah, sire. All in all. Aye. Forward. Perhaps we should. I'm Ooh, there we have King you. Jagdash. Okay, he's actually a reasonably good king, despite being a generic general. Okay. So, did our catapults survive? They did. Yes. Excellent, excellent news. Miners Union in Kazadum. Let's mm, then take a fairground, maybe. Oh yes, that is absolutely worth it. Jeez, yes, yes. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, then get an armorer. And we have some reinforcements from the seven clans. Always welcome. Hi, my king. Okay, uh, I, I don't trust these goblins, so we're gonna follow them <laughs> with some more troops. Uh, I'm gonna I send the first legion to Brunast. Just to make sure, make sure that they don't. I'm gonna stick you. We need to make them feel just a little bit threatened. Um, let's also get some marches up there. I mean, they could double back and take a uh, liking to Anon and a Rod, but in that case, uh, let's send these lads up there. And then. These forces can make their way north. We march no further today. That'll do them today, sire. And when they arrive in Meithelberg, they'll join up with the rest and we'll have a full banner army ready to take on maybe Framsburg. And then with that down. Ooh, we have a captain there. Yes, my king. Ooh, Azolk has come to town and he makes it slightly less susceptible to spying. I don't want to lose another spy. Um, ooh, okay, that's a decent army. Yes, we shouldn't overplay our hand here in the north because they still have a lot of troops and yes, that did wonders for his skills. That's nice. Something to investigate. This shall not see me, sire. Yes, my king. This shall. I'm gonna stick you. So he's a snork. He lacks compassion. Well, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> um, and then we have over here Lundath, who's an excellent, excellent administrator. My king. Um, should we build a tower somewhere over here? I think we should. Ah, oh, now he can't make it back. Okay, we'll just go to the edge. Come on, I want to build a tower. Can't construct a watchtower here. Yes, here then. And we can keep an eye on Litash. But I don't seem to be very concerned with the dwarves. Just having taken Mount Gundabad. Yeah. They seem to be fine with that. Do you know what? That, that that brings me a bit of joy, I must say. More tea. More tea for you, more tea for me. More tea 
for everyone, hopefully, in perpetuity. Dominion of Isengard, what will they be up to? They're not attacking us yet, but they might soon. Oh, hello. We are besieged. Indeed, we are by a rather large number of orcs. Ah, yes. They get the golf clap. Because I'm sure they'll succeed. I mean, of course they will. <sighs> okay. Lorien's under attack. Well. Aye. well, that's okay. More troops to be trained in our capital. Our capitals? <laughs> okay. Goblin Town. Scotland, it's barracks. That's nice. And army barracks. That will soon follow. Oh, a mining network. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty good. So let's get that. Byrick has a feast hall. Let's give them a mining complex then. After which, a town guard will be appropriate. Oh, maybe a catapult maker. No, no. Nah. Mm. Yeah. After which, they get it. Uh, no, no, wait. First of all, they need recruitment capability. So, a pipe hole. <laughs> uh, that's what they're gonna get, yeah. And Mythelberg. Uh, practice range, nice. So you can start retraining some archers. Oh! Um. Feast hole. Let's get that culture going. And we got a feast hall here. Uh, hall of Durin. Let's see if we can't get it. If they manage to take the city, then it's not a lot of money to waste. Uh, we might as well queue it up while we have the chance. So, let's see here. We have a decent trade income. It's going to get even bigger. And after that, we're going to go for... We're going to go for lower taxes to stimulate growth. Healers Hall, that's not going to do much, so we're going to put on this and this. And Castle Doom is producing an ever larger force for us to throw at our enemies. Are they going for Goblin Town? Ooh, they might be, actually. So, I guess it's just as well that we're sending Forward. over some we reinforcements. No today. We've marched our limit. And building more troops. And there's High Lord Your Elrond just hanging honor, out no there honor. on his own next to a powerful a Goblin Army. I would call that day. reckless. But, uh,. I'm not sure that even Gus does that decision justice. 
Um, hmm. My king. Onward. We march no further today. These troops can also go north and they can go under Glyne. <sighs> okay. Dane's Halls. What do we got? Ooh, they've taken on Asna. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> now, they have taken some forces out of Dane's Halls. We might have a draw out opportunity. That is looking good. Can they attack? Oh no, I can't see. Let's just... No, we can't really hide there. There. Okay. Now, if we attack them, they will likely sally out at us, which does give us... Oh, mm, half trolls. Um, and that would give us a bit of an interesting situation. <sighs> to be honest, I would just as much like to attack them in Dane's Halls. Because we have catapults, we can do it swiftly and effectively, but... Either way, I think it's going to work. Leading the men with honor, sire. And here we are, Captain Muznak in charge of some half trolls and Mar Marauder Chief Azolg the Bloody and the Bloody Awful Commander, he should also be called. In his last battle, he at least got the men to run in the right direction. Well, good for Azolg. We'll see if he manages to do such a pull off such a feat again. But that will be for next time around. So I'm going to save it right here. And I will see you on the next episode where the battle for Dane's Halls will commence. Take care of each other. Be nice to your neighbours. And um, I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Farewell, everyone.